depending on how complex your graphics or composites become, it's very possible to have many related clip items begin to stack up vertically in the timeline as connected clips. You can place all your titles and graphics into a single clip container called a compound clip to clean up your timeline. Now turn off the transform controls. Select both the title and the logo, then right click on them and choose New Compound Clip. A window appears asking you to name the clip. Let's call this H5 Lower Third Logo. Because you'll be creating an actual clip in your library, you're given a choice of events to place the compound clip into. SaberCat is a correct event, so click OK. In the timeline, a single connected compound clip appears. Compound clips can be identified by the badge in the upper left corner of a clip. Like secondary storylines, compound clips can be moved, trimmed, copied, and pasted. However, unlike secondary storylines, compound clips are meant to store many different types of clips video, animation, graphics, audio, and photos. Just about anything you want to put into them, you can. To open the compound clip, double click on it. Here we see the two original connected clips laid out in their own independent timeline. If you look at the path description in the upper left of the timeline, this compound clip is actually part of the SaberCat event. This means that any changes we make will affect the parent clip in the event, but it will also affect the child clip in the project. On the toolbar, click the Effects button. In the search field, type out Drop. Drag the drop shadow onto the H5 logo. By default, the drop shadow color is black, which is being lost against the dark background of the viewer. In the Drop Shadow Properties, click on the arrow to bring up a color picker. Move your pointer over the color field to choose a color for the shadow. Let's go with white because it will create maximum contrast. On the graphic, the Drop Shadow includes some on-screen controls for manipulating the shadows. Drag on the Target button to move the shadow and position it behind the logo. Drag on the gray ball to change the amount of feathering. This control is great for creating glows around your text or graphics. If you want, you can drag the handles to create perspective for your shadow. I like the glow, so I'll hit undo. Because we're making changes to the elements within a compound clip, these changes will appear in any place the compound clip is used. This means that if you use this compound clip somewhere else in the project, or in another project entirely, the changes we're making here will apply to all instances of the compound clip. Click the Timeline History button in the upper left to get back to the main project. Skim over the compound clip and you'll see it now includes the glow on the logo.